This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance Proton Therapy Center. As you might know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. An estimated 270,000 women in the U.S. will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year, but there is progress. The average five-year survival rate is now at 90%. Here with more on the side effects of treatment to consider are Dr. Christine Fang Cutler from Seattle Cancer Care Alliance Proton Therapy Center and her patient, Amy Huff. It's great to have you both. Thank you so much. Um, so, Doctor, first of all, let's let's talk about what you take into account when you're about your health before you decide what your treatment is and what the side effects will be. Well, so um, <clears throat> the risks of potential long-term uh, side effects, which we're focusing on today, um, have a lot to do with uh, someone's health at their baseline. And so, um, for instance, when we're looking at the risk of heart disease, if somebody already has some risk factors for mm -hmm. that, um, then that's something that we're more aware of. And so you might make a different choice about treatment under those circumstances, may, correct? correct. Yes. Okay, and May, you are a breast cancer survivor. Congratulations, mm -hmm. first of all. And I'm sorry you had to go through that, but thank goodness um, that you're here in a healthful state. Tell me a bit about what happened with you. Um, well, it started, I have just noticed a crease in the mirror when I was toweling off after a shower. And it's like, okay, that doesn't, it's supposed to be like that. Mm -hmm. And um, eventually, you know, well, I, <laughs> my husband uh, got me in quickly. He's like, because I was going to see my doctor about three weeks later. He's like, no, you need to go now. Yes. And Good for him. Um, yes. And, um, it, turned out to be cancer. Um, it was uh, very treatable. Um, so it was a change in the appearance of the breast. Mm -hmm. so I was under 40, reminder. so I hadn't had my first mammogram. I was too much right, short. Right, right, Wow. So you got the diagnosis. Mm -hmm. um, what happened then? Uh, well, I interviewed a number of different breast surgeons and oncologists and a number of different doctors to figure out where I wanted to get treated and, and how I wanted to have my treatment to start. And um, I had an uncle who um, is an MD. Mm -hmm. That helps. And um, he told me right away, he's like, you need to get protons. And at that point, I still was trying to figure out surgery and figure out chemo. And I had so much other stuff that I just couldn't think about it at that point. And there's so many choices there's to make. It, people different. don't realize that, that it's not always just you go in, the doctor says, do this, this, this. You have choices. So she mentions the proton therapy. Tell us about yes. that. Well, so um, proton therapy is a, um, a form of radiation that has been around for quite a long time, even as early as the 1950s and 60s. Um, <clears throat> but um, its use hasn't been quite as widespread uh, because there are uh, much fewer proton centers um, than there are conventional radiation centers. And so, we have a, a chart I want you to take a look at and explain to us, and also what the benefit of the proton therapy is. So um, the benefit of proton therapy is that in uh, many patients, uh, it can uh, have a lot less exposure to the surrounding healthy tissue compared mm -hmm. to conventional radiation, and thus um, less exposure to the heart and lung, and um, um, then less long-term side effects. And so does that mean, I, I remember my mom had breast cancer, and I remember there was a limited amount of radiation that, that could be provided. Does this mean you can more effectively target the cancer if it's not damaging tissues around there? That's right, because uh, we oftentimes with conventional radiation have to compromise. So if we're getting too much to the heart or lung, we may have to say, well, we need to ease up a little bit on the dose in order to keep it within safe limits. With proton therapy, there's a lot less of that um, because we are able to conform and, and shape uh, around the heart and the lung, we're able to give the areas we are worried about um, more adequate doses. So what was it like? What were the, the side effects or the, the effect of the radiation done with proton therapy on you? I mean, my guess, I don't know, I mean, from the photon side if it's the same, but um, I mean, you definitely have redness and, mm -hmm. um, you know, pain, it starts like uh, sunburn. I mean, right. in the beginning, you don't even notice anything. And then it just kind of builds because it was uh, five and a half weeks, 28 days, Monday through Friday. And so it Good just kind of built a little bit and um, you can get blistering and that sort of thing. Right. So not, not the easiest thing, but. No, um, it's nothing it's you'd sign up for for fun. <laughs> no. um, but at the same time, it, it seems like this gives you a very targeted dose of radiation. And does this have, do we know, effects on survival rates? Well, so um, 
one of the consequences of having fewer of these sites is that there are less long-term uh, research studies right. on proton therapy uh, compared to conventional radiation. And so at our center, we are um, uh, helping to, to change that. Uh, we do have um, a, a clinical study that's available to our patients that's a nationwide study we're participating in um, where the trial is designed uh, to uh, test whether or not these um, the less exposure from the proton therapy does in fact lead to less long-term side effects. And so how did you help AMA and how might other people decide this is the choice for them? Well, you know, when I first uh, met with AMA, because we are fortunate enough to have a proton center yeah. in, in the Northwest, um, that was an option that I discussed with her. Um, and she, of course, had also done a lot of research on her own and, right. and had her uncle that had recommended this. And so we were uh, able to have that, that conversation. And obviously not just your uncle, but you've got a pretty good support team around you at this point, right? I've got an amazing support team. Yeah, I was overwhelmed by the... Um, love and encouragement and um, just presence by friends, family. I'm so glad you're doing well and thank, thank you. your husband for being so alert that he said, yeah, we're not waiting. We're <laughs> going in because we want you around. <laughs> thank you so much. You have a friend in the audience too, right? Who's I been do, part of Jessica, this? Who is Jessica, where are you? With me right with every home. one of my uh, chemo treatments. And awesome. Every step of the way. Thank you. That's sisterhood at its best. Thank you so much. To contact Seattle Cancer Care Alliance Proton Therapy Center, please visit the website on your screen. We'll also post a link to them on New Day's website. Up next, how you can easily convert your bathtub into a beautiful walk-in shower. I am all over this. We'll be right back.